When the moon aligns itself between the Earth and the sun April 8th, Canadians in the right places at the right times will have the chance to see a rare total solar eclipse. The total phase of the eclipse comes closer to more citizens' actual places where they live than I think any eclipse in history. I've been working on the IMU calibration. Enter retired medical physicist David Hunter of Florenceville, New Brunswick, determined to help as many people as possible witness the event. After his last attempt as a child back in 1970 on a trip to Nova Scotia ended in disappointment. And I got there, my parents took me there, and it was cloudy. So decades later, he and a team of local scientists have created their way to see the eclipse above the clouds. There we go. A tower equipped with eight rotating cameras lifted by a huge helium balloon will capture and transmit images live from 30 kilometers above the Earth. We can get a good panoramic view of the planet and the Earth during the eclipse and especially perhaps see the shadow of the moon approaching us. In Canada, the eclipse's path of totality hits southern Ontario first over communities such as Hamilton and Fort Erie, then continues to southern Quebec. After that, it's western and central New Brunswick's turn, followed by PEI and Newfoundland. Communities all along the path making the most of it. Front row seats to the total solar eclipse. You need to be in western New Brunswick. The last time a total solar eclipse happened in those parts was more than a thousand years ago. So the region is ready with 30,000 pairs of eclipse glasses, community viewing locations, and a special event with retired astronaut Chris Hatfield. It's uh, such a unique opportunity to do something and never going to happen in, in our lifetimes again. The members of Hunter's team, now among the many Canadians getting ready for the show, their balloon set to beam it live around the world. Heidi Petrachik, Global News, Halifax.